Hi there, I am Lisa Nicholl and I am delighted to bring you more information about the Scottish Community Drama Association's playwriting competition, Play on Words. The competition launched on the 7th of November and the prize for this competition is to be mentored by professional theatre director Guy Hollands and I am delighted that we are able to bring you a chat with him so that you can find out more about the process, about what he's looking for and his involvement in the SCDA. Guy has been a professional theatre director for over 30 years, most notably working with Tag Theatre Company and the Citizens Theatre in Glasgow. So I am delighted to welcome Guy. Hi there, Guy. Hello, good morning. Now, today is an opportunity for people to get to know you, to uh, find out what it is that you're looking for in a play, um, and also um, what the mentoring process will involve as well. Um, We're doing this chat over Zoom, so I am delighted to welcome people to this world. Um, But could you just kick us off by telling us, yeah, what, what is your involvement with the SCDA and how did you get involved with Play on Words? Oh, well, my, my association with the uh, Scottish Community Drama Association goes back a few years to um, a time when I was working on a project with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Um, and the Royal Shakespeare Company, well, at that time, they were doing a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream, which was touring the country. Uh, and the Citizens Theatre was to be one of the venues. And their idea for this production was that um, at every venue that they went to, uh, they would pick up a local company of uh, community actors who would play the mechanicals in the, in the production. Uh, it was a lovely idea. And, uh, but they recognised, obviously, that e- each of the sort of small casts uh, of non-professional actors would require some direction and support in their local area. Uh, and so it fell to me to kind of support the Scottish cast. One of the, one of the company was uh, a member of the Fintry uh, drama group. Uh, and um, through that, I met Tony Flish. Um, and through Tony, I met uh, Carol Williams, the uh, National Drama Advisor for SCDA. And uh, we started talking about various different sort of ideas about ways in which I and at that time the Citizens Theatre could be involved in, in you know, working with SCDA. The first thing that uh, we did was Carol and I uh, devised and developed and delivered um, a course for directors. Um, we had two weekends a couple of years ago, whenever it was, um, with uh, directors from various groups from all around the country, from various SCA, SCDA affiliated groups. Um, and we delivered um, a course of um, directors training, which is fantastic. And what's your experience of working with playwrights and working on plays? Uh, tell me a bit about that. Well, it's been, I've worked with playwrights and, and writing and writers for the entirety of my sort of 30 years in the professional theatre uh, world. Um, and it started right at the very start when I was first in Scotland working with Maggie Kinloch, who was then the artistic director of the Bayer Theatre in St Andrews. Uh, and I, I spent the eight, nine months of, of 1990 uh, up there in St Andrews supporting her uh, initially through the professional season, which runs, you know, then ran through the summer uh, and then um, working on the Byers Community Theatre production, um, which featured a whole load of, you know, obviously community actors, non-professional actors from the area. Um, and also what happened to be part of the plan was it was written by um, by local people as well. Um, so I was introduced to the whole notion of, you know, sort of working with writers to develop uh, work uh, and also to working with uh, non-professional writers, but community writers, uh, actually a team of them that, that produced that play. Also during the, um, during the professional season, there'd been a new play by Stephen Greenhorn, actually a comedy about golf. It happened to be the sort of year of the, one of, you know, the year when the, the, the Open was happening in St Andrews. Uh, and so I got to know Stephen Austin, and really it was the first time for me to sort of, you know, experience what it was like to work with writers, you know, and to sort of understand a little bit of their process and to see the journey that they go on, you know. And that's really where, where my sort of association with writers and writing started, and it's, and it's been a constant throughout my career since. And I've worked with, uh, I was really privileged, I've worked with a lot of great writers, with Stephen himself and David Harrower and uh, Zinni Harris and uh, David Gregg and Peter Arnott and Johnny McKnight and loads and loads, Alan McHugh. Uh, many, many, many uh, really good writers on various projects of various scales, for either for schools touring or for main stage productions at the Citizens Theatre, or for Christmas shows at the Citizens Theatre, or you know uh, shows in in, uh, in the community. I've also worked um, 
with Gaelic writers for uh, tours um, of the Highlands and Islands by Tosk Theatre Company. And I've worked uh, recently quite a lot in the Scots language with uh, working on plays by my colleague from the Citizens, Martin Travis. Uh, so, you know, it's been the it's been a whole range of stuff, and that's that's what I principally what I what I do, and what I regard myself as sort of being best at doing is is helping writers to develop plays. And what would you say then that you are looking for uh, for someone who is entering this competition? What are you looking for in a play? We know that we ask a lot when we're asking people to write plays and send them in, right? And we're aware of that, pretty aware of that, that people are sort of offering a lot of themselves. And I think that's what's really important is that people do put themselves themselves into the play, you know, so that the, what we'd love to receive is a, you know, very distinctive new plays with in, in a distinctive voice, you know, an original voice is what we'd you know, ideally love to find is somebody that's really got something to say about something that really matters. Um, so I, and I always think that, you know, you, when we when we choose, you know, which plays we want to put on, say, you know, at a theatre, you know, one of the questions that everybody always asks, and we always talk about, uh, is, you know, why does this play need to be on the stage now? You know, it's really important that it's not just, oh, it's just a play that we really like. I mean, that's important, obviously. It's very hard to kind of invest in a play that you don't like, you know. But, you know, what, why is it essential that this play happens now? And I think that's something that, you know, be lovely if people think about as they're thinking about writing a play. You know, it's like, um, is there a compelling reason for this play to be on the stage now? So that's something that we'd be looking for. Humour is so important, right? A sense of humour in the play, a sense of humour in the characters, you know, is just such a big part of successful playwriting, you know, and so for the audience experience. Particularly if you have a serious message, you know, very often the best way to kind of be presenting that is in a is in, at least in part through a sort of a humorous approach or having characters that have a kind of sense of humor. Uh, characters themselves, we're looking for sort of um, interesting three-dimensional characters that you can believe in and you're interested in, maybe a quirky, unusual, different. Uh, we're looking for plays that uh, aren't necessarily finished, you know, as such. I mean, finished as much as, you know, the writer has taken you from, you know, start, beginning and end. But, you know, there's still room within them for development. That there's the potential uh, for them to be sort of moved further on, you know, and to be, uh, to be improved. Um, so that's important as well. Now, the prize is, is that the person who wins Play On Words will be mentored by you. Um, you and I are familiar with what mentoring is. Um, so, yeah, just to explain to people who are entering the competition, what, what is it that you will be um, yeah, offering the playwright? What, what is it that you will be doing? Well, a mentor, I suppose, in this, this context is, is like a critical friend, you know, it's somebody that's actually going to tell, tell you the truth, but tell you it in a nice, supportive way, right? I think that's really important. I mean, uh, my, uh, my role would be to be as honest as I can uh, with the writer about you know, my, my response to their play. And it'll be, you know, I'll have loads of ideas about it. And some will be very general things, some of the very specific things, I'll be a moment, a word, a line, um, you know, and there'll be a whole, whole range of different stuff. Um, and I think really it's it's about this establishing a relationship between yourself and the writer where, you know, the writer needs to trust that I am only offering, you know, my thoughts, my feeling, my feedback, you know, to try to help, to try and make the thing better, to try and, you know, move the plate to a point where it's more performable or maybe more achievable, you know, where it's more likely to achieve what the writer wants it to achieve. Uh, so the writer needs to be open-minded as far as possible. The writer doesn't not want to be feeling that they have to defend their play because it's not about that, you know. We accept that, you know, the writer has to come feeling really confident that they've been chosen right they've been short there's been a short this process their play has been chosen so we know it's good we know it's got potential we know it's going to kind of it, it, it's going to succeed um but this process is about really trying to fine tune and refine um but also practically what this means is we're going to have conversations like this over zoom and maybe some email correspondence correspondence as well um and we are hoping that within the time frame that we have uh, that the writer will be able to go take the play through another two drafts. Um, so it goes from where, what they've sent as their entry, entry uh, through two further drafts to get to a point where it would then be ready to be rehearsed uh, by, by a director and cast. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's, there's time commitment required and there's a certain amount of you know, actual effort required. They do say there's no such thing as writing, there's only rewriting. And I think that's the, that's the process that we're, we're going to embark upon. So that's, the, that's it. It's a two-way conversation really, uh, where I will try to kind of um, help the writer sort of move the play on. It's really a simple fact. And I think it's a fantastic opportunity for people to enter a playwriting competition. And it's not just the, the final play that, that, that is that is put out there. It is uh, the process that is the, the prize, you know, to make that play stronger um, and to, to get it really stage ready. So I, I think it's a fantastic opportunity for writers to, to get involved and to be mentored by yourself as well. So... 
play on words is open open as of the 7th of November 2020 um, and uh, the deadline for getting your script in is uh, the 31st of March 2021. Um, Guy has told you a little bit about what he is looking for, what the process will involve, so all that I'm going to say to everybody is get writing and we look forward to receiving your submissions. Take care, thank you so much. Thank you Guy. Thank you so much Lisa.